Hello again, welcome to the November Game Guru Max update video. Okay, so during the past month of October, we revealed many new exciting features. Let's now take a quick recap to see what the development team has been busy with. The tools for sculpting the new terrain system are now in place. With them, you can raise, lower, flatten, and smooth the procedurally generated topography. There's also a feature that lets you create ramped areas for features like mountain paths. Using a super fast and optimized rendering technique, game levels can have hundreds of thousands of trees drawn into the scene. These special trees are made from different levels of detail versions, allowing close trees to look high quality with distant trees at a much lower polygon form. Expect more choices of these types of trees with ways to move, add and clear them soon. A whole new editor was recently revealed. This is the new Game Storyboard Editor, which has been designed to be easy and quick to use. It lets you choose your own splash loading screens, game menus, how game levels link together, and what happens when a game is over or won. Now then, each area of a game is represented by a thumbnail, and these can be moved around as you like. They link together to form the structure of the game, and are really easy to edit and modify. Once your game is complete, you can save it out as a standalone version that can be run outside of Game Guru Max. The physics system was updated in a number of ways recently. It's now using the very latest version of the bullet physics system. Game objects can now use faster convex hull collisions, and characters now have ragdoll death sequences. The visual logic system has moved forward too. Links between objects and their relationships can now be set up. You use this for situations such as a key opening a specific door, switches turning on lights, enemies becoming aware of the player, sound effects playing when something happens, and so on. So, as you can see, the team's been super busy and will continue in this vein as we head towards the early access release at the end of this month. Now then, you can expect to see more exciting reveals each week as we continue to work on combat AI, tree and vegetation rendering, and much more too.